Hi there, welcome. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you all you need to know about gradient. Yes, gradient. One of you mentioned that you're having a bit of a problem using the gradient tool. And I wanted to give you a bit of understanding of how to go about using it effectively. So the first thing you want to know about the gradient is that the gradient tool can be located in two locations. So if you go to your toolbar here and the paint, if you right click on paint, you will see that it gives you a drop down. You have the gradient, you have the paint bucket, and you have a 3D material. So today we are focusing on gradient tool. So if you click on the gradient tool, what you see on the top bar is an icon of your gradient. And also next to it, it gives you different options. If you pick the blues, you get different shades of blue. If you pick the basic, it just gives you black and white. This is the basic gradient, a linear gradient. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Let me just change this color so we have something different to work with. Let's say you choose the linear gradient. What you have to do is that you have to click within your canvas from one end to the other where you want your gradient direction to go. So as you can see, because I dragged from one corner to the other, you see that the heaviest color starts from the corner and then it meets in between where the red and the black meets and then it fades out all the way to the darker color. If you just click in the middle, you get a more of a defined boundary between the two colors. Of course, you do have a little bit of a gradient effect bleeding from the black to white. So the next one is the radar gradient. So if I click on that and I, and I drag, you see that it gives you um, a spot. So, so, so that is what you get. And then the next one, so the next one is the angle gradient. And this is what it gives you when you click on it. So you see that it starts with a straight line, giving you a defined boundary between your two lines, and then it gradually fades into the other one. So the next one is the reflected gradient. So with that one, if you draw a line right in the middle of your canvas, you see that it gives you basically a mirrored image from the center of the black. The next one that we want to talk about is the diamond gradient. So the diamond gradient, if I, if I draw a line, you see that it creates a diamond gradient from top to bottom, depending on how long I have my stretch. I'm going to show you how you can apply the gradient effect on your image to transform it. So what you want to do, you want to go to the adjustment layers icon and we're going to select gradient and once we select gradient it gives us a default color so let's say you don't want a red but you want a different color notice how the gradient fill that has been selected moves from solid to transparent if you want two different colors you can select maybe from black to or from red to white if you select this you only get from solid to transparent if you select black or any other color it goes from solid to the other color and even with this you can still create or reduce the opacity so you can still see your image in the background but in this scenario we want to choose the transparent and solid and so now that we have this what you can do is you want to click on this side of your gradient and then you want to click on the stop that will activate your color and you can change whatever color 
you want it to be. Even if you want a blue or let's say a black, you can just pick any color you want. Or you can also use this slider to just change the color to your desired taste. I'm going to choose a black, click OK. And now what I want to do, I see that there is a red, which I don't need. So I'm going to go back and choose a black. So as you can see, the color is just fading from black to transparent, but click OK. And I can just leave it like this so that I get a gradual darker color from the bottom to the top. Or you can also change your style. You can change it to radar. If I want a different color, I'll go back and I'm going to choose my black. Sometimes we want to have a sort of a, a darker burnt effect around our image. And you can achieve that by clicking on the reverse. Increase the scale of your radar. I think this is a very cool effect. So that is another technique that you can use. So the last tip I want to show you is how you can use your gradient effect on your text. I believe I did that in my last tutorial, but I wanted to take my time to explain it even a little bit further. So let's say you just put in a text. Let's say the text is bold. So let's say you have this text and you want to create a reflection of this text. So what we are going to do is first of all, we are just going to create a duplicate of this text. I'm just going to press Control T to activate my selection. I'm going to hold down my Shift and I'm going to pull the top and bring it down. You can also do it another way by going to Edit and then flipping your text and then moving it down. So with this, I'm just going to move it a little bit down, a little bit up. I'm going to right click and then convert this into a smart object. And then I'm going to add a layer max to the text. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick my gradient tool and I'm going to make sure my foreground and background are black and white. And I'm just going to draw a straight line, fade in a little bit more by how long you do your stretch. And now let's say you want your text itself to have that gradient effect from maybe top to bottom, or maybe both the top and the bottom are one color and the middle is another color. So to do that, we can go to our text. We can right click, go to blending options. In the layer style, you choose gradient overlay. We can either choose the two tone color that we've been given or we can choose any other option that we want. You can pull down your drop down and you can choose whatever color you want. You can even choose this. Let's say you want this, but you want to change the color. You don't like this color or you want a custom color. You can double click on your gradient and then we can change this color. Let's say we want a blue, so we can change the bottom to a blue and we can change the top to, let's say, a white. So if you want a third color in the middle, all you need to do is press Alt and click on your stop. It will create another color for you. And I can double click on that. Let's say I want a pink. I can just choose a pink and that will be in the middle. So there you have it. I hope that this helps somebody. And as always, if there is anything else you would want me to show you or you want me to do a step to step on, it might just be on brush, it might be on different fonts, whatever it is, just leave me a comment um, on one of my videos. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful and it's something that you are going to use in your creative design. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads and as always thanks for watching i really do appreciate you taking the time to go through my tutorial bye